CVS is betting big on biosimilar medicine company. The company launched a new subsidiary that will work directly with manufacturers to commercialize and co-produce biosimilar medicines. Yahoo Finance's Anjali Kamlani has the details. All right, Anjali, what can you tell us about this? Well, Brad, we know that, of course, biosimilars are the new hot trend in the market, and CVS is eyeing a piece of that could be $100 billion market by the end of the decade. So what we're looking at is the biosimilars, like you know, Humira, Humira got a bunch of biosimilars on the market this year. Well, CVS is partnering with Novartis' Sandoz to get one of those on the market through its own label. You know that you've seen CVS-branded generics like, say, Tylenol versus CVS acetaminophen. Similarly, they want to launch this brand Cordavis, and that's going to be their biosimilar brand. So what they're looking at is uh, basically biosimilars are launching with the company that's making them a branded version that's just a little bit less than the Humira list price. And then they have unbranded or off or unlabeled uh, uh, brand, uh, products, and that's where CVS comes in. So for this partnership, they're going to be basically putting their brand label on Sandoz's biosimilar, and that's the strategy that they're going to be employing with other companies. Now, they're not going to be making these products themselves. Of course, we know they're quite complex biologics, so there's no internal R&D going on there, but there could be some uh, end of the manufacturing process involved for them. So that's where uh, CVS is entering the market in this biosimilar space. Uh, we have heard from some analysts who are taking a look at what is going on, saying that the CVS is largely seeing this as a margin positive for the company and, quote, that they anticipate uh, it is, like I said, margin positive, but too early to tell if there's going to be, a, you know, really significant contribution for this. We don't yet know what that uptake is of these biosimilars. I did get a chance to talk to EVP Prem Shah, and he told me that they are looking at the supply chain uh, as well. We know that some of these drugs have had supply chain issues, so they're also looking for partners that have really good, strong supplies to make sure that they're not getting patients on drugs and then leaving them without an option to continue their medication. So a lot going into this announcement, but definitely one of those things where we have to see how it rolls out, what the uptake is, and certainly which partners they end up choosing. Hey, Anj, can you explain to us sort of more about why biosimilars here versus other types of drugs or sort of the motivation for CVS here? Yeah, biosimilars are really coming onto the market. We, you know, we've talked on the show a lot about some of the big pharma companies and their patent cliffs. So there is a lot of opportunity, a lot of eyeing what the potential is to get lower cost drugs to patients. And that's sort of the focus uh, that CV, CVS has, according to the conversations that I had with them. They're looking at where they can really get out uh, in front of this whole drug pricing conversation. And this is one of those avenues they focus on just the way that you've seen with the generics, like I mentioned earlier, it's just another opportunity for the company to take advantage of lower cost options and then put their own label, their own private label on it.